Wow. Friday. It sneaks up on us, don't it? Drew Titan, Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. And we back in the cave. And we're going to have fun this morning. We have fun every morning. We have fun every morning. If you wake up, get up out of bed, you're having fun. So uh, this morning, this is something we decided on last week. We're going to be talking about the most iconic vehicles. Now, of course, we're going to miss a few. We're talking about television and live action. If you want to go into animation, we'd be here literally all day. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to stick to um, some of the most iconic vehicles, in movie and TV. And um, I gave it some thought. And I got a little in here for, for, for everybody, all genres. You know what I'm saying? So we're going back to, damn, the 70s on a lot of this stuff. Some of, some of you young cats, y'all going to be like, what? Some of you young cats going to be like, oh, well, man, you know, I've seen it before. And I didn't know it was that iconic. Some of you are going to see stuff that y'all never heard of. But you got to understand, when I was coming up, because, you know, I'm, I'm the OG now. When I was coming up, this stuff was like, wow. You know, and it's, there's stuff that I left off of here. There is stuff that I left off of here. And, uh, of course, when I uh, put up the list, I said, oh, man, how could I forget that? But um, there will be some honorable mentions. And if we missed it, it's okay. Feel free to let me know. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Had to update my uh update the title. All right. So let's see who we got in the building so far. Pooh man, Omega Red, what up? Where's your wrench? Hold on. There you go. Mega Red in the building. Anwar Willis. King the bad guy. Mr. Shelton. Queen is in the building. Derrick Gaines the legend. Tay Tay. Good morning, next wife. Young Deezy. Michael Ray. G. McCall. Shogun. Salute, good brother. No smoke in the building. Mind of Monsa Musa. Rod Neal. Plat Boy Plays. No smoke back in the building. Second channel. Y'all make sure you go subscribe to both my brother's channels. Adrian Vett. Salute. Trey Will in the building. So let's get to this work. Act, what's going on, man? What's good, Drew? I got an honorable mention for you. Hit me with it. Bring out the loner. Remember in the mask? He said the loner. <laughs> 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 the loner. <laughs> Yo, Stormy, what's yeah, good, Stormy? Yeah, man. Yeah. So let's jump into it, man. Let's jump into it. So now, this is. I'm glad Stormy pulled up. I know Trail will. I know a lot. A lot of y'all gonna know a lot of these, man. A lot of y'all gonna y'all gonna know y'all gonna know these. All right. So I was able to grab about 13, but I, like I said, we only got so much time. But there's a lot. There's a lot. Um. But I did a couple of movies and uh, some TV series, and I still forgot. I still forgot some. Uh, so let's get started. Now let me ask Act. I, I like I like kind of like bullying Act because he's kind of young. But uh, what's this? You ever seen it? Uh, Scar. I never seen the series. I never seen the series. I seen the movie. Uh, the Grand yeah. Torino. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know about it. I know about it. I See, know about thing, it. The thing is, the thing is, Ben Stiller got a hold of the title, got a hold of the movie, and they made it like a comedy, and I didn't appreciate that. You know what I mean? Um. Starsky and Hutch came out, I believe, in 75. I was a 
baby when I, you know, it was, man. I think it was on for uh, for about four years. It was like from 75 or 76 to 80 or like 75 to 79 or something like that. Totally 70s. And um, they were cops. I don't want to get too deep into the series because if we discuss the actual series, that's that's something uh, 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 me and Stormy will talk about on an episode of Nerds on Culture. Tune in Mondays, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central. Um, that'll be a good little thing we could discuss, uh, Stormy. Um, uh, primetime televisions, uh, the, the, the things that we remember. Oh, Stormy, write this down. Best cops or detectives on TV or on the silver screen? TV or movies? Best cops or detectives? You got to throw in Starsky and Hutch. They were cops. And I don't want to get into the uh, uh, um, the show. But um, one of the iconic characters, sidebar, was Huggy Bear. Who, in the Starsky and Hutch movie, they got none other than Snoop Dogg. I, I saw it coming. Once I said they're making a Starsky and Hutch live action film, I said, okay. They're going to get Snoop to play Huggy Bear. And I predicted that. But, um... When you saw this vehicle, you knew a chase scene was coming. And there was nothing more iconic than a 70s chase scene. The music would kick in and they's chasing dudes in and out of alleys and stuff. It got no better than that. And man, and in my childhood, there was nothing more better than a, 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 a iconic video, a, 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 an iconic vehicle. When you were a kid, you were a sucker for that. You are a sucker for machines. You know what I mean? Um, and I think, I think they had a remote control uh, uh, car of this when I was growing up. I think they did. I'm not sure. They may have. Did you have it, Drew? I never had it, but you know who wouldn't know? My older brother would know. Oh, okay. He has a better, he, he got five years on me, so he got a better, uh, um, he got a better uh, uh, memory of that stuff. But I wouldn't be surprised if they a- actually had that. Um, Anthony, what up? Uh, uh, Jeff Spark in the building. Um, but yeah, this Grand Torino, and if you go to certain car shows, matter of fact, the car shows in New York right now, the Jacob Javits. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these iconic cars are just sitting there. I wouldn't be surprised because throughout the years, people have like they'll own the Grand Torino and they'll get the paint job to match this exactly. And this is iconic. If you're my age, you know this vehicle. If you're my age, you absolutely know this vehicle. It don't get any better than the Grand Torino. And the engine is loud as well, the muffler is loud as hell on this thing. Woof. This was a, a pickable vehicle on um that what's that video game? Gran Turismo. The uh the Torino. My gosh, man. Love that. Always wanted to drive it just to just to just to say I drove it. Gran Turismo Starsky and Hutch, 1975, y'all. Let's move along. Y'all don't know what this is. If you don't know what this is, then uh, I don't know. Rampage, what up? If you don't know what this is, I don't know what's wrong with you. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Your, your childhood sucked, probably. And that's um, Mach Five from Speed Racer. Mach Five. You, you go ahead, bro. Take that. Um, th- this car right here. You, you know, what's crazy is I only watched a little bit of Speed Racer. You know, that's not mm-hmm. that's not my era, but right. I. I love this car, man. This car, just the look of it, the frame and everything about it. Uh, 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 I thought it was nice. And it looked, it, well, from the show, it looked fast as hell. It looked like you would kill yourself in that, Drew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For real. There, there, On the straightaway. Some... Mm-hmm. There, there's something in this vehicle that no one is paying attention to. There's, there's something in this vehicle that no one's paying attention to. 
Now, this is the Mach 5 from the classic cartoon Speed Racer. The reason why I put it up here, and I said, man, you know, we're not going to do no animated vehicles yet. We'll, we'll save that for another time. But they made a live-action Speed Racer film. So I said, oh, well, it counts now. Which, the live-action Speed Racer film a few years ago, it was good. It was very good. I was, I was nervous about that. It was good, though. The CGI and everything, it was real good. The storyline was good. They put... At the end of the film, you remember? Did you did you see the live action Speed Racer film? No, no, I didn't. I never knew that they 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 did oh. a film. I never knew that. I never knew oh that. My. I put, probably my bro. older brothers probably was like, "Oh, he didn't see that." I bet you if I text my bro Jeff, he probably be like, "Bro, I, I recommend it. If you can find it, watch it. It, it didn't it didn't do me dirty, bro. It didn't do me okay. dirty. They stayed true to the cartoon. Um." And of course, they're doing some amazing stuff with the cars in there. But um, there was things that they were doing that was they were leaving so many Easter eggs. And at the very end of the film, when he jumps out the car, he strikes the iconic speed racer pose. I, I clapped at the end. In the theaters, we was clapping. We was like, oh, he did the pose. It was crazy. If you ever you ever saw the speed racer intro? On the animated series? Yeah, I believe I believe I have. I believe I have. Too bad you can't play it, cuz. Yeah. You know what will happen. Man, you know what it is. Matter of fact, um, Daytona 500, that's a song by Wu-Tang Clan. And the video is all Speed Racer anime. And in the beginning of the video, Speed Racer jumps out and he strikes a pose. And you see his mouth moving and it's Raekwon rapping. That pose, that's the iconic speed racer pose. And at the end of the film, he jumps out the car and they freeze the camera and circle around him and it's the pose. I said, oh my God, they did it. Bro, bro. Queen said, fuck it, play it. Uh, he gonna have to edit it out and upload yeah, wait, the video. On, let me see it. Let me see. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, let me see something. See, as soon as I said I'm going to do something, see the police coming to get us. See that? Typical new, a day in New York. When new day in New York. Real. <laughs> it's coming to get somebody. Let me see. Ah, uh, now nah, these these niggas gonna get me if I play this, bro. Let me see something. Nah, they they. Nah, because this is from the movie. You two are gonna be like, nah, we're gonna we're gonna cancel the shit out. <laughs> uh, let me see. They're gonna be like, nah, 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 nigga, you doing too much. You know you can't do that. You're black and you're a content creator. Let me see if I could uh that pose is iconic. And when they did that at the very end of the film, I had to clap. Come on now, get to it. I can't believe you ain't seen that movie, Ed. God damn it. I was watching the intro. I was watching. <laughs> you were just watching the intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a, as a point of information, um, that little, you're looking at the car. Now, um, let me talk to the audience for a second. At the, the, the when you're looking at the, uh, the car right there, right? You see that little pocket on the right side? See that little seat right there? That's for his pet monkey. Whoa! What? 
Speed Racer had a pet monkey. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you stupid. That nigga had a pet monkey. I want to play that in the H drops. You're going to have to play that one. Hell yeah. Oh, oh. God. My God. <laughs> and he, he had a pet monkey, y'all. And um, fuck it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it, y'all. He had a pet monkey and he sat right there in the pocket right there. And it was awesome. I'm going to play it, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to, um, let me share my screen. Nah, yeah, I'm going to get in trouble for this. I'm just going to edit it out, y'all. I'm just going to edit it out. They got it on Blu-ray. They got all, all the whole series on Blu-ray. <laughs> This is the iconic pose. Jumps out the car. Boom. I was like, nah, they didn't do that. I was like, yo, that right there. That right there. I was like, yo, they did it. Everyone in the theater was like, oh, what? They did it. That's all I'm going to do right there. I don't want to do too much. But um, Speed Racer, this this car did everything. So, of course, it was made. But the, the, the shit that the car was doing in the, the anime or even in the movie there, no car could do that but it was it's the idea of it so when you go to car shows and see this you got to get a picture with the speed racer the mach 5 and i can't get over i saw this at a car show and that little seat was killing me because that's where the monkey sat right there you know how many trolls could fit in there right there you should send this to AJ's house. He put his one of the monkeys in there. God damn it. Main biker, salute. So that's the Mach 5, ladies and gentlemen. Love that vehicle. Now, if you don't know what this is, you're forgiven. If you was born anywhere in the 90s, you're forgiven. You're forgiven. Only my OGs knows what this is act have you ever watched a movie called Smokey and the Bandit nah this one this one you got me he tried he tried to wait he's not it's one he ain't gonna know I know what Drew is doing right now y'all it's like he's it's one he ain't gonna know now he got me with this one he got me with this one Smokey and the Bandit what year that came out I want to say 77. I could be wrong on that. Um, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Stormy know. Queen might know. But um, this was a movie. I don't want to get too deep into the movie because we might cover the movie in depth on, on Noise on Culture. But um, this was the iconic Pontiac Trans Am that drove that was driven by Burt Reynolds. It was fast. He was doing dirt jumps on this. And Smokey was the cop chasing him, played by none other than Mr. Ralph Cramden himself, Jackie Gleason. And it was funny as hell, man. It was funny as hell. And, and uh, yes, Drew, I know who Jackie Gleason was. Oh, yeah. The yeah. honeymoon. Of course, of course. With the star Archon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my mom loved that show oh man every year they do the uh, uh on um new year's they do the uh marathon honeymooners i don't go out and party i sit home i eat some black eyed peas collard greens and some dirty rice and me and my moms we watch the honeymooners marathon for as long as we can stay up and that's how we spend our new year's day i don't i don't go out and turn up i don't do that for real, I watch the marathon and the honeymooners every year. It's like a tradition with us. Funniest thing ever. Um, but Smokey and the Bandit. Um, 
Smokey was the uh, was the cop played by uh, Jackie Gleason. Um, rest in peace to Jackie Gleason. He's a, he was a comical genius. He was. Uh, he was ahead of his time. Uh, but um, Smokey, I should do a, a piece on Jackie Gleason. He was funny, man. Those listen. Sidebar in the honeymooners, those meltdowns that he would have, the character Ralph Cramden, those meltdowns that he would have. I'm gonna tell you something. Those are on the level of black people meltdowns, man. Like when black people would just be ODing like in the church and things like that. The, the type of meltdowns that Ralph Cramden was have, it was it was so relatable, is what I'm saying. Crazy shit, man. But I loved it, man. But Smokey and the Bandit. This guy drove this car recklessly, man. And um, I don't want to get too deep into what the movie was about because there was a, it was a series. It was Smokey and the Bandit. I think they had two or three movies. I think y'all help me out in the chat. I think um, the third one, Burt Reynolds wasn't in it. Um, somebody else was in it playing the bandit but um, this is an iconic vehicle man this is what made you fall in love with fast cars if you were seeing it for the first time and I'm going to tell you something all the older white kids around my way the t the, 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 uh, uh, like the, the late teens like early like when they were 21 21, year, 21 years old when they got a hold of some cars this, this was their car. The Pontiac Trans Am was their car. That was their car. Everybody that was driving, they got a hold of that. We used to go to the um, arcade. Um, my boy Larry, uh, his brothers had some friends. And like three of them had Trans Ams. Same year, same make. It was so cool to see them pull up. It was so cool to see them pull up. Black one, uh, his, his, his other boy had a red one and a white one. And they pulled up right by the arcade and park outside. Where I grew up was very diverse. They pull up playing their fucking Metallica and everything else. It was cool though. It was cool to watch. But this was their official. You know, like um, in the 90s out here, I can't speak on what city, wherever city y'all come from, but the official car that the, the that the brothers bought out here in the 90s was the Maxima. It was the Nissan Maxima, the box-shaped Nissan Maxima um, in the 90s. In the 80s, I don't recall, but, it, but what I do recall, I don't know what the brothers were buying in the 80s, but I do recall the other culture, the, 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 white, the white cats, they bought this. This was everywhere on the roads. And they would ride around blasting their Metallica. And uh, it was fun to see. And um, I, I want to say that this is an automatic. I don't know if it's a stick or automatic. But again, this was a, a vehicle that when you saw the vehicle pull up on the screen, you can tell it was going to be doing some ridiculous police chase. And he was always outsmarting the cops and spinning out doing donuts hiding in the bushes and then pulling out and man it was crazy man act when you get a minute watch the first Smokey and the bandit not only is it funny but burt reynolds is doing some cool shit with this car man oh man Smokey and the bandit yes sir yeah, yeah, Queen said, yeah, it was the, it was the Maxima in the 90s, man. We used to call it the, <laughs> it's bad, but out here, we called it the official drug dealer car. We said, ain't no way he got that Maxima and he 18. What, what you think he does for a living? You know what I'm saying? It was the official drug, they used to be lined up by my high school. Everybody had a Maxima and they never closed the trunk. Why? Because they had big old speaker in the trunk. So they left the trunk open. Young Hollywood, Shade Girl, salute. If I miss you in the chat, know that I love you. Almighty Law, salute. So let's go here. Here we go. Here we go. Edgar, what up? What y'all know about Airwolf? What y'all know about that? 
Old Bulldog says accurate legend. Yeah, yeah. Accurate legend, yeah, came after the maximum. Yeah, accurate legend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ack, you ever watch um Airwolf? You ever you ever like seen the advertisement for it? Nah, I never I never seen nah. Now again, I know we was doing I didn't know that we was doing doing helicopters and stuff too, <laughs> dude. Shoot, I would have had a lot. They yo, if you would have told me that. The X Jet, it would have been, it would have been a lot going on. It been a lot going on. If I would have knew that, I would have threw some motorcycles at you, all of that. Oh but, man, uh, well, you know, like I said, we, you know, as long as it's live action, I'm sure there's a ton of shit that I missed. So you know, we could bring it up, and I, I'll grab the picture. Yeah, we, it's no big deal. This will you know probably I mean? be a a, a part a two yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll let you lead the charge in the next one. Hell yeah. Um, Airwolf. Out here, I think it came out on CBS. Could be wrong. Um, but um, this was an espionage show. It was a team of about three people. Again, I don't want to get too deep into the series, but um they they dealt in espionage, and it was about this damn helicopter. And whenever they would they would get a call and they were like, Oh, we gotta go here and go there. And, They'd suit up and hop in this ele- this helicopter, and again, I was a sucker for these vehicles, man. I was an absolute sucker for these vehicles, man. Let me find out something real quick. Airwolf, this was in '84. It, it was on for like '84. It's on for for about three years. It was on for about three years, I want to say, right? Um. This was an attack helicopter. And uh, like I said, I want to say it was about three. It was a woman and two dudes. That, that was their crew. I, I, that, From what I remember. And they went on a lot of missions and stuff. And um, the attack helicopter was like high technology. It did a lot of um, shit that normal helicopters couldn't do. And um, they fly into some place and <clears throat> be sneaking around and grabbing, you know, grabbing documents and having shootouts and then they get chased to the helicopter when the helicopter take off it's on the helicopter take off they shoot at the helicopter oh they sending jets at the helicopter and the helicopter shooting jets out the air like no helicopter could do that this ain't no helicopter this is air fucking wolf you know what i'm saying knocking motherfuckers out the sky what you mean this is air wolf hell yeah can't fuck with Airwolf. Their game says CBS. Okay, it was on CBS. Yeah, I figured that's that's channel two out there, out here. Hell yeah! Nobody don't know Derek Gaines. Trust me, he know. <laughs> oh yeah, Derek Gaines no. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! This ain't no helicopter. This is Airwolf. He had the top guns and he had the top missiles and. I think the motherfucker was bombproof, goddamn. Probably had a force field. But um, I was a sucker for stuff like that. This is how you got me. You know what I'm saying? If it was just some cats running around doing espionage work, you know what I'm saying? I would have, um, it wouldn't have caught my eye. But you throw a cool vehicle in it, you got me. Oh man! I forgot to add something. Sheesh. Damn it. Yeah, we're gonna have to revisit this act. We're gonna have to revisit this. How could I leave this off? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Damn it. We definitely have to revisit this. But this is this is dope, man. We, ain't nobody fucking with Airwolf. There might be one thing fucking with Airwolf, though. There might be one thing fucking with Airwolf. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to that in a second, though. But um, let me go to the next one here. Now, act. 
Yes. You don't know the A team van. Yeah, I know about the A team van. I didn't like the live action though, Drew. I got to bang the gavel. I issue some gavel bangs on that live action. I'll leave it alone today because I'm feeling generous. But uh, uh, yeah, the, the live action uh, it didn't do the show justice. Yeah, um, the movie I didn't really care for it. I I saw it just to support it, you know, but um. Didn't really care for you know. Shout out to Quentin Jackson for his 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 rendition of uh, B. A. Baracus. Um, but yeah, this um the TV series was freaking awesome. And if y'all don't remember, or if y'all don't know, Mister T was on fire in the eighties, bro. He was in a, a children's series. He had a, a, you know what? I got to do a show on Mr. T. Damn. Y'all don't know how popular that man was in the 80s. Um, But this van, when you saw this van pull up, you knew it was a problem. And um, the you team- You pitied the fool, right? You pitied right the fool. Through. You pitied <laughs> the fool, man. But you know what? B.A. BA should have beat all their asses. Because every episode, B.A. Baracus- hated flying and they had to knock him unconscious to get him on the airplane and he would get unconscious they would trick him every episode um on some dumb shit like they 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 molly his drink or something and then he'd wake up in another country like yo ba man you know we had to because we got to do this thing over here oh, pity the fool yeah where, where, where we at now we're in santa domingo how we get here we was in fucking kentucky yesterday they had to knock him out every episode because he hated flying so they had to like spike his drink or needle him or something that, that, that was the joke but i'm like man that that can't be good over years <laughs> fuck up his kidneys like that what are y'all doing yeah for real for real <laughs> why they do that to the brother going to that for me uh uh they had rampage jackson play him in the live action right? yeah 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 yep they, there you go, Tay Tay, your people. Yeah, yeah, Tay. <laughs> <Rampage. laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, but this this van was iconic, man. The series was dope, man. The series was dope. I forgot what day of the week it came on, but I remember going to school and talking about it. Like, I mean, damn, I, I got to do... Stormy, we got work to do. We got work to do, man. We got to do... We got to do a show about... Uh, um, a uh, uh, classic television because there was a lot of fun stuff to watch, man. And and that's just not, there's nothing educational on TV anymore. And believe it or not, there were gems in these uh, series. It wasn't only just guns, violence, and blowing shit up. There was lessons learned in this. Remember when I was talking about, um, um, I'm going to do a show on Saturday morning cartoons. There were messages in those cartoons. Know what I'm saying? Even when G.I. Joe went off the air, they had um, you know, uh, learning is half the battle. You know, um, don't be out in the sun too long. You could get sick. Uh, you know, need to learn how to swim. Um, not everything is your friend, not everyone is your friend. You know, don't pet strange dogs, you know, shit like that. Oh, that's 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 it's good to know. Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Yeah, man. You know, the Cosby's. Man, so many gems in that. I don't see that on TV no more. How? What are you teaching these kids when you got two binary kids, uh, a, a gay kid, and uh, you know, the, it's a classroom full of freaks. What's the lesson in that? There's nothing there. It's just yeah, square one. I remember that. You know what I mean? Yeah, MacGyver. Man, there's so many, man. Man, we got work to do, Stormy. We got a lot of work to do. There's a lot of things we got to cover. But I'm keeping MacGyver it on. MacGyver was a good show. MacGyver was a good show. Man, yeah, man, MacGyver. Him, MacGyver, gun. He's like, actually, I do better without those. <laughs> you get, <laughs> you get MacGyver. You like MacGyver in the room. You be like, you lock him in the room. like, yeah, we got him. You go back an hour later, he's gone. You're like, where'd he go? 
He's like, yo, there's a whole hole in the wall. I said, like, what the fuck was in this room with him? Nothing. There was a pencil, a piece of paper, a paper clip, and a goddamn Twinkie. And this nigga made a bomb. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? How'd he do that? Man, yeah, I checked it. I checked it, Stormy. I checked it. Ah, man. Uh, yeah, I left that off the list. I can't believe I did that. I left it off the list. Damn it. I can't believe it. Like I said, I, I, I knew I left so many stuff off, the, so much stuff off the list. Let me see if we have time. I'll go back to it. But the A team band, if you go to any car show, matter of fact, you, you might be driving down the highway and see someone they tricked their van out and made it look like this. That's crazy. Now, all right, you got to know this right here. Kit? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna keep it real. Um, I love the frame of that car. Say I love again? the frame of that car. Shout out to I said I like the frame of that car. You know, what I mean, shout out, shout out to the '80s, man. You know, what I mean, some of the dopest frames of cars came from the '80s. You know, um, in uh the Night Rider vehicle kit. You know, what I mean, not only did it do like amazing things, I love the fact that it would communicate. <laughs> uh uh with, with with michael is michael knight that was his name in, in the show right yep. okay yep. you know i i liked how we would communicate with him or whatever and uh get him out of impossible situations every time oh, it kind of yeah. remind me of james bond like james bond you would see him in a situation and you would be like bro in real life you always say that in your mind like you would never get out of that indiana jones too like those type of people like yo bro you should not get out of that it's like a thousand dudes and you know how'd you get out of that situation same thing with michael knight uh with kid yeah hell yeah man this, this and this now cars are talking to you drew now it's, it's funny that crazy? Now that, yeah yeah it's funny <laughs> that's crazy but kit was still special because kid had his own soul he was a free thinker. He Kit could drive himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kit like would have a conversation with you, so he's still kind of like better than what we have today. Um, Kit, well, the the story was was amazing. Uh, David Hasselhoff, that character, um, Michael Knight, he was somebody else. In the beginning of the show and he had had an accident and um i think someone tried to kill him so uh and he, it, had it, plastic he wasn't, surgery and he had plastic surgery face. yeah right I, I remember they had it on stars for a while so right. i was watching the episodes because my mom it's another show she liked it's another Yo. show that she liked so michael knight was called michael something before that and then he had you know they, they had to like fake his death or whatever but then he started working for this agency and kit was bulletproof and uh, he he was faster than the average car he talked back to you he drove himself i remember watching the episode there was long distance driving and um he was sleeping in the car and um he would kit would be able to turn the tents off and on when he wanted to but he had the window down and some dude drove by him and he looked and Michael Knight just sleeping in the driver's seat. And the dude looked like, what the fuck? It was crazy. But um, Kit was amazing. And, um, you know, um, they had the Kit clone. Then they had the, um, the Michael Knight clone or whatever, the dude that looked like Michael Knight, but he drove the truck. That was equivalent to Kit. Um, it was crazy. Then I think season three kit got an upgrade where he kind of like transformed it was crazy then they had the um when the series ended they had an upgrade where um the same agency uh uh they were they they made another car that was a uh they 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 trashed kit 
but they went and found him. They found his memory box and they put it inside the new car. It was a red car. Man, Night Rider was a hell of a series, man. They brought it back for a, a, a made for um, TV movie. Um, it's like four seasons, uh, eighty-two to eighty-six. Yeah. Yup. But everybody wanted Night Rider. I I I didn't have the toy. My boy had the toy, and it would say things from the uh, from the uh, from the TV series. Now, if you remember the intro, um, you know what always made me uncomfortable. Why was dude breathing so heavy in the goddamn intro when he was talking? <laughs> what the fuck was that, man? You know what? Nah, I'm gonna pull that up. Yeah, teach. I remember the wraith. Like I said, I forgot a lot of stuff, bro. The wraith. Hold on. Why was dude breathing heavy? Right, hold on. Night rider intro. <laughs> I was uh, like, what's wrong with dude? You know who sampled that beat, right? Buster Rhymes. Bucks, yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He already knew. He already yeah, knew. <laughs> this boy Buster. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna play the intro. Well, just I need you to listen to what dude was. Uh, he was. I was like, why is he breathing heavy? I, I, I always felt mad, uncomfortable. I was like, what's wrong with this dude? Yo, fair use, y'all. Please don't fuck with me. Fair use. Shadowy flight into the dangerous world. Oh, chill, 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 chill. I just feel dirty. Night Rider. <laughs> yeah, shadowy flight into the dusty world. I was like, yo! My God! I felt like they used the same person for every 80s from the cartoons. <laughs> yo! That, that same narrator. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this dude! <laughs> Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world. Jesus Christ, man. Not that guy, man. That guy made me feel mad greasy. The fuck? Oh, yeah. Kid's twin. The name was Carr. Man, this series was so dope, man. This series was so dope, man. Did they ever do a reboot that I, that you need to tell me about before we go to the next? A reboot? Um, yeah, like, because you know, usually shows like this become movies and has yeah, comedy. They, they, they didn't do a reboot. <laughs> they okay, didn't do good. a reboot. This is one of those shows. I'm glad they left alone. They did bring the original characters back to do the. I think they did a, a, a back in 2008. I think they, but they brought it was the original storyline continued. I don't really like reboots, man. I really don't like reboot. Oh, they young D said they did, but it flopped. Mm. Was that the two thousand one? Probably why. That's why I ain't pay attention to it. There's certain things you could bring it back, but you got to bring back the original cast and maybe pass the torch to the next hero. Do that. Don't redo it. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 how they did um Total Recall. They just rebooted it. I'm like, you ain't need to do that shit. The original Total, Total Recall when Arnold was dope as hell. You know what you need? Yeah, to do yeah. That? I actually did like that one better than. It's just like when we talked about Clash of the Titans. Yeah, I yeah, liked yeah. It, I actually liked it, the claymation and all of that better yeah. than what they did with the new one. Yeah. I actually have that on Blu ray because my mom really good. That's another movie she, she liked. So and we were always watching the crib. Oh, watch it said in 2006 they did one. Val Kilmer took over Kid. Michael Knight had a son. Hasselhoff did a cameo. Oh, I gotta do research on that. Wow. Oh, Stormy. Write, write this down, Stormy. Write this down, Stormy. Iconic uh uh I iconic intros, music mm. intros, music that, that when you hear the beat, what the fuck? Yo, act. Uh, you talk about what? Did you feel like a? Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
What is happened? your ground shaking? Yes. Yes, yes, I was just about to say that. <laughs> Nigga, are we having an Yo, earthquake? Yeah, yeah, in New, in New York? In New York City. I thought I was going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I was like, did you feel that? Oh, what's that? that? Nah, for real, I'm not joking either. Nigga. Hold on, let me look outside. Hold on, pause. Nigga, that is like the worst way. Yeah, now nah, you can't felt that shit, right? Earthquake. Yes, I did. No diddy. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's crazy. We can't survive no earthquake in New York nah, City. I tell nah, you that right now. Nah. It will be bad. Now, nah, when you get... if you outside, you might have a bit of a chance, but where I'm at, you can get nigga. There's nowhere to run. Ain't nowhere to run for me neither. Nah, fuck that. You know what I'll be like. You remember Secret Wars when Doctor Doom dropped that mountain on the event on, on the hero <laughs> and, and, and the whole cat and the whole held the that whole cat off? Fe- uh, yeah, yep. yep. That's yep. how you gonna find yep. me. Yep. Hold on. Who yeah, he me? talk about the 80, the 80 secret wars. I know Derek Gaines about the comment. I know, I know you about the comment, Derek Gaines. The 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 2001 wasn't bad, but it wasn't. I actually like the older one in the secret wars better. We we gonna have to touch on some of that stuff. Shoot, um, um, Drew. What the fudge? I don't like that shit. The worst shit in the world. Is it be in the middle of an earthquake and you in the shower? I mean, come on. I don't want to be caught in my pants now. Bullshit. Yeah. That ain't cool. Joe Towns, a salute. Stay dangerous, salute. T said he felt... Teach, where you at? What state you in? Reef Reef said he felt the heat in Jersey. I believe. Oh shit! He re- in Newark and Newark. Tay Tay outside. That's not cool, bro. I don't like that. Hold on, I'm, se- I'm texting people. Chill, y'all. That's bullshit. Young Hollywood, so I'm in the Bronx right now. Bro, there's, I've seen niggas walking around outside, but, you know, you don't know who's high. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. East Orange felt it. Main biker said people just told him the ground was shaking. Yeah, bro, we had an earthquake. <laughs> oh, that's whack. Main biker said he, he in PA. Shogun in Connecticut, he felt it. T said he in the Bronx. Not cool, bro. Oh, stay dangerous. You know, you know, you know a hip hop show's coming. My homegirl says she on the 23rd floor. She ain't feel nothing. Nah, my shit was shaking. I know it was. I'm like, yo, chill. Wait a minute. 
I remember the last earthquake we had had to be like 2013. And we was all the way on First Avenue. And we was on the bus. We was like, you feel that? It was like, what the fuck is that? And uh, one of the ladies I was working with, she was like, nah, it must be the train. I said, train? We back, we on First Avenue by the FDR. There ain't no train over here. Then my mom's called me. Man, we just had an earthquake. I said, shit. I don't like that. Shoot, you was on the east side. Oh, Rhode Island. Stay dangerous, said in Rhode Island. Her candle fell off the dresser. Yeah, we had a motherfucking earthquake, man. That's not cool. Come on, man. All right, this is a nice segue way to get back into the show, right? Son of a bitch. Damn it. The hell? What the fuck? All right. Well, back to the show. Jeez. We can't deal with that over here. That's a that's a West Coast thing. They're more equipped. All right. 2024 is some bullshit. So <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's just it's just like snow in Texas. Oh man, did you they don't got they not yeah, they they like when that happened on my brothers in Dallas and, and all of that, they didn't know and you know, it, it hit a little Houston too. They didn't know how to deal with that. I remember uh uh five oh three and them talking about that. You know what I mean? They not equipped over there to deal with that like we are over here. So it's one of those situations. Like earthquakes in New York, I don't we wouldn't be prepared. Hold on, let me it's let me Give me one second. I, let me let me let me call my mother. Give me one second. Hold me down, Night Rider. Hold me down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, yeah, man. I believe this is where Dave Ellis got his uh, uh big star, right, y'all? Correct if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um. They say it was an earthquake in, in California in 08, Queen 71 said. Mm, okay, he said in Texas, uh, Stay Dangerous said, I'm in Texas, bro. Uh, snowstorms out here got them constructions every day road in, in, in Texas. He said we are definitely prepared when uh 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 he said we definitely prepared for a teacher earthquakes when they design buildings it's uh it's cold to build for such events yeah i don't nah i don't think we i don't think we are i doubt it i doubt it Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm calling people. Make sure. I mean, it was nothing. I thought it was just me. I thought maybe it was like a big truck going by or something. Nah, bro. But it, nah, it kind of shook for a little minute, and I was like, "Oh, okay." That's why I asked you. I said, "You felt that?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Hold on." I'm like, mm -mm. "I'm hearing the beams." In the wall going eh, 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 eh. i'm like yo chill i know what that is last time we had an earthquake matter of fact that earthquake in 2018 i mean it was, i think it was 2013 my boys was in the crib playing video games right and then they heard the beams go eh, 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 eh. and they was like what the fuck? and they looked out off their terrace and they said the buildings was kind of rocking Yo, my boy's apartment was on the 33rd floor. They ran down those stairs in under a minute. They were gone, bro. They were gone. <laughs> Yo, man. All I'm saying is, 
You know what? I ain't saying nothing, man. Tay Tay, relax. We 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 all good. I just don't want to get caught in the building. But the show must go on. Yeah, you know for saying? real. I, me. Either. The kids are in school, and uh, the school is wide, so it's not like. <laughs> You know the school is all right, so it's whatever, man. He said, "Say danger." Said, "I'm not living in the dirty door floor anyway." <laughs> <laughs> no. Look, 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 look! Here come my wife. The ground just shook in Brooklyn. Hold on, 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 y'all. See, there's some, there's some. He said, uh, "Young Hollywood said I'm on the FDR." everything good i don't know everything wasn't good over here on seventh day man because <laughs> i felt that now the goddamn calls won't go through don't tell me they they damaged one of them towers Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This some this some nonsense right here. Hold on, my sister texted me. Hold on. A four a four point eight earthquake forty miles from New York just happened. No, it says four point well. Somebody in my chat just said four point four point eight. I don't like that shit, man. They need to make the world out of nerf. So we could be safe. There's some bullshit. My sister in Queensbridge, she said she felt it. Mm. Uh, all right, I'm just checking on you. Okay. All right, back. Right. Yo, that shit is real. She's in Queensbridge. They felt it. It's on the yep. news right now. 4.8 earthquake. It's on the news. All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get some news. See, see, see if they say anything. Yeah, whatever. Gotta turn on CNN or something. Yeah, I ain't like that. Thomas, what up? Look, 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 look. <laughs> he felt that drink hashtag, no diddy. <laughs> 4.8 in New Jersey? That's kind of... That's crazy. That, nah, that ain't nothing to fuck with, man. Oh. Uh. A 4.8 in New Jersey? <sighs> nah, Platt Boy, nothing, nothing that, nothing that, uh, nothing that epic. A 4.8, man? In New York City, In New York City, I think that's enough to knock shit over, man. Ay, ay, ay. 
Pelton said World Breaker Hulk is walking around. Fuck said, that. <laughs> Not cool, man. Conda, what up? Nah, we we, we on live, Conda. We, you know, my shit start shaking. The lights start moving, and I heard the beams in my building. I'm like, what the fuck? That's why I was making sure it was the same thing. That's why I asked you, yo. No diddy, but I asked like, you felt that, bro? That's not cool, bro. A four point eight Queensbridge right now. So she said she. So I'm we I'm in the Bronx, you in BK, your sister in Queens. This shit happened in Jersey. And with Tweaksbury, you know how far that is from us. That shit far, man. Chill, 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 chill. Look at look at my boy. He he a postman. He walking around. He up in um Scarsdale. He felt it. Yeah, that's up state. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Four point eight in Jersey. We felt it all the way here. Yo, motherfuckers is I looked outside, motherfucker. You see, I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like that shit. I hear sirens. Somebody got scared into it. Oh! Tweaks me. Thomas just sent me the map. 4.8 in Tweaksbury. That's about... That's that's mad like far inland too. That and we felt that shit all the way over here. And it was minor. Yeah, you going to the Yankees opener? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know a condo. I mean, we we had a couple. We had a couple, but not like the one that happened back here and uh, down here, I, I want to say it was 2013, 2012. It was enough to rock the buildings out here. And, you know. Oh, shit. It's really bad in, in Tweaksbury, uh, uh, Mack of the South. There's a lot of weird shit going on. We, now, now we got earthquakes. Did y'all seen these, these tornadoes whipping through the Midwest? Y'all seen that? This is like something, and now there's gonna be like a, a thing with these locusts. Did y'all y'all know about that? Yeah, oh, I ain't trying to scare y'all. Make peace. Nah, Thomas, I don't want to imagine that at all, bro. Hell no. A four point eight in New York City. Not a good look, bro. Not a good look. Not a good look. You had a mini tornado in Florida. Queen said they had a tornado watch in Tuesday night. Mac is in uh, uh Macadosa South is Mississippi working on a tornado disaster. Yeah. You had one in Cincinnati. Yo, listen, I don't want to like scare y'all, but um all of this shit is connected. Well, that's what I'm telling y'all. Hard. <laughs> Bro, this shit is connected, bro. This shit is connected. We need to get right. Watcher said, uh, far north Jersey, but Morris County. I'm in Essex checking on my people. Yeah, 4.8 is nothing to fuck with, bro. You had a half mile tornado in Texas five days ago. Half mile wide tornado? They get that big? T said, they said NYC is sinking. 
They've been saying that. And uh, Manhattan is an island. So when they say New York City, they talk about Manhattan. See, where I live in the Bronx, I'm like five exits from Connecticut. I'm up. I'm uphill. I'm not in the South Bronx. You know what I mean? I'm uphill. There's a lot of rock. I'm, I'm, I'm by Yonkers. Mount Vernon and shit. It's like up a, <clears throat> it's legitimately up a mountain. So when, when shit get flooded and shit, it really don't affect us where I live. You got to go down 95 where shit get bad. Shelton said we better move down south. It ain't safe there either. Because you get all that warm weather and mix that with a cold front, you get hurricanes and shit. <clears throat> you got to move to the moon and fuck up the air up there. <laughs> uh. Yeah. The El Reno tornado was two miles long. I can't imagine. Yo, you know the planet Jupiter? That red spot on it? You know that's a storm? If I'm not mistaken, I was told in school that that was a storm. Is that true? That big red dot on planet Jupiter. And it's been there, God, I don't know how long, man. We're going to need one of these vehicles we're talking about. This is the time you need a night Rider. You need kit. Stay Dangerous said it's a hurricane bigger than Earth. Yeah, we ain't going to Jupiter. And it's not slowing down. Why is it doing that? Why is there a big old hurricane on a planet that just never... It doesn't go away? What the fuck? Crazy stuff, man. That's crazy. That's, that's... Shoot, Drew's looking like I need to invest in that Batmobile. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Um, Main Biker says, you need to... Monday is a solar eclipse. Yeah, and that solar eclipse, I heard something about uh, Locust coming out. And, man, listen, man. Now I'm listening because, you know, I, I'm by the highway. And every now and again, a truck goes by the highway and hits some potholes and it, it goes. Doo, yeah, doo, me, doo, too. Doo. me too. Now I'm jumping. Now, now I'm listening to it. And I'm like, man, come on, bro. And I'm right by the water. You know what I'm saying? I'm right by the man, water. Man, if we get a 4.8 off of our coast, you know what that, you know what happens, right? What? A 4.8 earthquake off the coast in the water. And if you live anywhere by East New York, like Brooklyn, by the ocean, you know what happens, right? What? A tsunami. Mm. Yeah. I, good morning. Anyway, Auto Man. You ever watch? Well, you ever you ever saw an advertisement for this act? No, I never have. But the car, though. I think we got those on GTA. <laughs> yeah, this this car's dope. This car's dope. Um, Auto Man was a series. Uh, he came out of the computer. Some guy invented him. I think by accident. I don't remember the facts behind the um the series too much. I was just in love with the car. This dude will come out of the computer, and this car. He'd hop in it with the guy that invented him and act. This car was so thorough that it would make 90 degree turns fast. And the duo just smash against the goddamn glass. It was crazy. It was funny. But Auto Man's car was like ridiculous. He was from a computer. Um, That, that, that shit was crazy. Auto Man. All right, I need everyone in the. Uh, I need everyone in the chat. Just calm down, take a deep breath. I know we're a little, we're a little frightened right now, but anybody in New Jersey, let's 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 say a prayer for whatever's going on in New Jersey over there. I'm not really. I don't know if that's a small town. Hopefully, there's no high rises over there, nothing like that. Um, yeah. 
Mac of the South says, yes, big bro. The red dot on Jupiter is actually a anticelonic storm that is the largest in the solar system. I'm hearing the fire engines outside. It wasn't that bad. Did something happen? Yo, my text is going off stupid right now. It's all good. Mother Nature just hijacked my whole show, didn't it? It's all awesome. sure did. <laughs> sure Jeez did. Louise. Shoot, did they get do they got any vehicles uh, uh equipped for that? I don't know. Um Under maybe blue thunder. Thunder. Said maybe blue thunder. Hello. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone's at my door. Hold on. Yeah, we ain't equipped to deal with that in New York, y'all. We we definitely not equipped to deal with that. We we might need choppers. Or the X Jet. Yeah, 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 a uh, condo. You definitely right. You say y'all be safe in uh, Jersey and why for a few days. Got a delivery. You banging on the fucking door. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Come on, bro. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> Dude, you uh, don't know what to think after that. Yeah, man. Damn. You you ain't feel it, uh, Felix? Felix, you didn't feel you that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I I think he he he, he uh I, I think I don't, I, you you live in I don't know if you still live in Patterson, but I know Felix from Patterson, like my pops hood. All right, so I think Blue Thunder will be equipped to uh handle this earthquake. Uh Blue Thunder was uh this came out in 83, I believe. It's an action film. Um, you know, um, what did it do? Uh, I think it has something to do with this dude. He was a cop. Uh, and I think he suffered from PTSD. And uh, he got a hold of this fucking helicopter somehow. He was, you know, running missions, you know, things of that nature. I don't want to get too deep into the plot of the uh, of the uh, of the story, but the, the vehicle itself the vehicle itself was uh um it was a badass it was a badass helicopter um i'm reading on it right now yeah fuck it it was a badass helicopter I remember having a um, it, Queen. I think it is, I think it is, but I remember having those debates in school at the lunch table. Who wins in the air fight, Blue Thunder or Airwolf? And it was something that would never happen, but it made for good juvenile discussions. I mean, when you're an eight-year-old talking about what if airwolf and blue thunder met up or what man no no i was a little older because i think blue thunder came out in the movies first Air, airwolf came out later but we got like we was like 12 years old we say like, what if airwolf who wins blue blue thunder or airwolf man that made for the best conversations that made for the absolute best conversations man 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, you ever um you ever heard of this film? Nah, Drew got me again, Drew. <laughs> it's like the tricks in the flash. Got me again, Drew. <laughs> Uh, Queen said, man, please, ain't no way a Bell 222 will beat an Apache. Look, I'll take your word for it, Queen. You you military. I don't know shit about that. As, but as a 12-year-old, this was a dope conversation. I don't know Blue Thunder did some shit, but Airwolf probably did more shit. Like more um, shit that, is, that that copter was not supposed to do. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Blue Thunder blew up at the end of the movie. I don't remember. I haven't watched it in a long time. But uh, yeah. When did this come out, Drew? I, I let me make sure. I, I want to say eighty three. I want to say eighty three. Let me see. Blue Thunder. Da, 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 da. Yep. Nineteen eighty three. Nineteen eighty three. It came out nineteen eighty three. Came out nineteen eighty three. Let me see. Uh. Uh, create helicopters, film viewing rejections of various existing designs, helicopters, blue thunder. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Listen, she knows her shit. Queen knows her shit. It's an Apache. Apache style canopies, two modified gazelle helicopters. Uh, I don't know. This is Chinese to me, Queen. Um, and two radio control FC-16 fighter models we use in filming a movie. Okay, so this was a created helicopter, but they're saying scientifically it couldn't exist, but it was just badass. Um, yeah. But this made for great conversation, man. This made for great conversation. Yeah, Blue Thunder versus Airwolf. That was that was hard. That that was that was a hard conversation we was having back then. Now, if y'all don't know what this is, there's something wrong with y'all. What you know about this act? I hated that damn car, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I had one. I had one. It might, it might have been a, a hand me down. It might have been a hand me down from 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 my older siblings. Cause I remember it was like scratched up and all of that. Yeah, I, I, I had this, and I had the little green ghost too. Um, Slimer. Yeah, Slimer. Man, oh man, the Ecto One, and that 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 damn siren it had. That was something. Um. Yeah, George is, is texting me. He in Jersey. Salute to George Jakovich. Run around with George. He's he's like, yo, earthquake, bro. You all right? I'm like, yo, it was, it was in Jersey. Are you okay? Yeah, this is this is some shit. This is hijacking the. Uh... And it truly lives up to the theme song if it's something strange in the neighborhood in the neighborhood who you gonna call <laughs> my nuts that that might have been one of the greatest theme songs for a show ever drew yeah for the, whole, for the whole movie um ray parker ray parker i hope he he wrote that song ray parker jr i hope he wrote that song and has all the masters and the publishing to that song because I'm telling you when you hear that beat drop dun, 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 I'm telling you he he could eat well off of that I remember that that song did so well they were advertising his other music on um late night um like late night TV you know how they would advertise like soul music and shit like that? They had one dedicated to Ray Parker Jr. He had a whole catalog. But this was his bread and butter right here. He was even in another movie. 
Um, but damn, <laughs> you hated this car, bro. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, uh, condo. Thank you, brother. I hated it too. It just look like my mother would say, just look tacky. Oh just man, tacky. oh longer. man, the Ecto One. This was this was an interesting vehicle. I think now, I would afford a cab. Car, you know what this is, brother? General Lee. Uh no, I don't. I don't. Now, now got me he, again, he, Drew. Got <laughs> me again. He, Whoa! Embarrassing... <laughs> 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 what? Now here's the embarrassing part about this. Um, you see the top of that car? You see the top? Is this Duke's has it? Yup. Now, as a kid, you're just watching things, and it was it was uh, just a good old boys, never mean any harm. You, listen, you're just enjoying it because the, when, the, when the intro starts, they're doing a jump in this car. And um, they're just some southern white boys running from the law, creating trouble, solving problems. That term, Daisy Dukes, came from this show did you know that no i didn't yeah the I, Daisy I need Duke you to show. do me a favor though drew i need you What's to play that, that? whoa <laughs> one time just because it actually <laughs> had a <reflect> it. <laughs> <laughs> don't! yo daisy dukes was daisy duke was this was, daisy duke was their sister i think one yo bro and she wore these short shorts white chick so when the song was made they said daisy dukes and all all of our sisters started wearing shorts with the bottom of their ass hanging out they were called daisy dukes it came from this show daisy duke was her name daisy and um their last name was dukes and the show was called the dukes of hazard so that's the reason why it transcended into my generation and the girls would cut off their jeans in the summertime. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. It came okay. from this show. Everything has an origin. And wear the Jordans and the tank top. All right. I get it. Now watch this. That That's the, uh, that's the good old Southern flag on the top. And when you're a kid, you, you, are you getting this? Are you getting are you getting this? Are you getting this? You getting this? Yep, it just texts to my phone. Yep. Yep. It just texts to my phone. Telling everybody in the Manhattan area. Yep. Nah, bro. What the fuck? Hold on, bro. What the fuck? Trying to call Mom Dukes. Hold on, y'all.
Yo, act niggas is coming outside. I see mad fire trucks outside now. Yeah, bro. Now I'm looking outside now. Niggas is coming outside. I just caught my mom's because she lived close. My brother, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 LeBron, we still alive. Um, uh, my brother just um he just ran over to my mom's crib because we all live in the same vicinity. So now I'm about to call my sister and find out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, blue just called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause blue, yeah, blue, blue, and, blue and li. Yeah, blue, blue, good. Yeah, blue he good. good. All right. Yeah, they just said that shit was damn near to Pennsylvania. And it went right up. Hey, bro, man. And that, now they're telling us stay indoors, bro. I'm literally got to get ready to go to work. You know what I mean? And I'm like, wait a minute. He said shit fell off his dresser. So it depends on where you are with it, this shit. Mm. All right, well, let, 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 let's 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 get through this show, bro. Um, yeah, it hit Philly too. Um, that that's that that flag on the top. I I know you know what that flag is. Um, yes, sir. Now, as a yes, kid, sir. I remember watching this on the show, like in the living room, because, like I said, this was like nighttime programming. And I forgot what day of the week it came on and everything like that. But I remember watching this. There were certain things that I would watch on TV, me and my brother. And my parents would be sitting there looking like shaking their head. Now, I'm soaking it up for the storyline and the action. But when my parents began to educate me on what certain things meant, when I learned about that flag, I said, wait a minute, ain't this on the Dukes of Hazard?" She said, yes. And in reality, um, what was those dudes' name? Bo and Blake, uh, Duke or whatever. The, the you know those brothers. In reality, in the South, those two white boys riding around in a car like this were not friendly to black people at all. At all. So you watched it for the action and the car. And I'm telling you, act whenever this car came on the television, the cops start chasing them. Bo and Luke, thank you. They start chasing them and they jump in and everything else. And the General Lee was, man, this was the car to have. And they were they were solving problems and everything. But the reality is, if you was in the South, Mr. Shelton will tell you, anybody will tell you, if you was in the South and you was walking along and two white boys pull up in the car to look like this, run because they were not friendly but as a kid i was in a play yard being bo and luke me and my boy sean just the good old boys never mean any harm now when you get a little educated and you, you get older you're like man the good old boys didn't mean they mean they meant your ass a lot of harm the good old boys Damn, people still texting me. Yeah, so this, this this some scary shit. Look at this. That's Dukes of Hazard. Act, you know what this is? No, Drew, I have no idea. You got to explain this. Okay. You gotta explain this. He got the he got the boats. He got the planes. <laughs> he got everything. Batman got everything for all of this. <laughs> if, well, if, this... if you talk about the plane, the the vehicle, whatever, he he got he got everything to counteract all of this. Well, this is called the Wellcraft. This was the boat from Miami Vice. This was their boat. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yep. Okay, you said Miami Vice. Okay. Miami Vice. This was the boat. Fuck the cars. They had some cars, but this was the boat from the intro. Let me see if I can pull that up. Miami. My best friend was named after Don, one of the uh actors, my my best friend I grew up with. I'm saying uh we's from the same buildings. His mom told us, she said, You know, I named you off of the guy on my bikes. I was like, Don oh, Johnson. Yup. <laughs> Don Johnson. You want to hear a cool fact about Don Johnson? Don Johnson was the voice of Falcon on G.I. Joe, the movie. Don Johnson. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. They're gonna make me cut that part out, but the boat. This is the boat. The Wellcraft. That's the boat. Ramel, what up, bro? Where the fuck is it? Damn. Hold on, y'all. God damn it. There you go. Yeah. Um. The Wellcraft. Dope ass boat. You know what, I my phone is going off. Um and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it to work today, man. Cause now I gotta uh check up on my 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 moms and uh make sure because you know that might not be it. You know what I mean? Um I appreciate that, Nicholas Levy. And I just got a lot of shit to do. You know what, family? There's a lot of shit that I left off this list that I got to add. And we didn't even get to the Batmobiles. Because I want to act to just take that away. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to end the show. Because now I got to go check up on people. Because my phone going off. Yeah, Mother Nature done hijacked my goddamn show, man. I didn't get to Captain America's live action motorcycle. I didn't get to the motorcycles that Chips act. You remember Chips? Mm. I, I know. I definitely know about Chips. The police officers on bikes. Yep. Yes, I yep. know about that. I didn't get to that. Um, um, damn, I had a lot of shit to cover. But, you know, See, Mother if you would have like, did stuff like that, I wouldn't have been so lost. But you talked about <laughs> You talked about all of this joint that where I had to be like, uh, Drew, what is that? <laughs> like this one. Yo, this is the Wellcraft. I, I, did, I put that picture there on purpose. I could have put one there with Tubbs and Crockett on there, but you'd have knew. Yeah, Herbie. Mm. There's a whole lot of stuff, man. Oh, damn. Did... Good one. Herbie, yep. that, that was a good one. That That is a good yep. one. That's a good Yo, one. Yo, when we do animated vehicles... I bet you there's still going to be shit that I'm either going to stump people with or they're going to be like, oh, I forgot about that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So this is definitely something we're going to um, revisit, man. I, we, we just, I just have to like put a pause to it now because, um, you know, duty calls. And I have to do what a son and a nephew does because now I got to check on a few of my, you know, I got some... Uh, family members in the nursing home i'm about to run over there and check now you know now i can't concentrate so i need y'all to be safe your act let me know how they can find y'all yeah 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 um y'all check me out on common cons y'all also check me out on the jab jamboree um salute to drew uh salute to everybody in the chat thanks for the well wishes um i gotta check on my peoples now hopefully they up some of them probably ain't even up and they probably felt it and they didn't even know it uh, one of my mm -hmm. sisters was up and she in Queensbridge right now. So, um, yeah, man, um, all my New York people and my New Jersey people, y'all make sure y'all, uh, safe, safe. Um, y'all want to continue this next Friday and we could just add the, uh, you know, what? let's continue it next Friday and we can add the animated vehicles in it too. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll pick up on uh uh we'll pick up on uh where do we leave off at? The uh Wellcraft. We'll finish that off, and then what I'll do is we'll add in. If you could find me 
10, 10 joints. And they okay. could be animated and all that. Okay. And we'll pick it up next week. You know, we have to discontinue this because, um, you know, Mother Nature ain't having it. You know what I mean? So, um, Storm. Yeah. Storm ain't having it, y'all. Storm ain't lose her powers. She ain't. No. <laughs> no. No. She, she, she on top of it. See, I'm going to run, brother. I'm going to holler at you later, man. And let me know if All you right, need bro. anything. All right, bro. All right, man. Be safe. We out the cave, man. I'll catch y'all.